Well, my first memories of Barak were at the house on Poki Street in Hawaii. I would lay my blanket out in the hallway, and that would be my island, and I would do my best to irritate Barak um, by um, making sure he didn't step on my island. So I was, uh, you know, I was the uh, irritating little sister, and he was quite patient with me. He was a great big brother. You know, my father was in Indonesia and uh, our mother and my father divorced pretty early so he took over a lot of the roles that a father would have in terms of sort of nurturing a healthy intellect and strong sense of self and good dose of pride but also um, humility. Our childhood was very interesting. It was broad and it was adventurous but I also think that uh, we were a little untethered um, that our lives um, involved a lot of sort of drifting in and out of worlds and here and there and, and um, that keeps you flexible and it um, keeps you broad-minded but I think that um, Barak didn't want that necessarily for his children and I think it was very important for him to make a commitment to a community. I can't quite say that he's elected to sit still. He's in three states a day these days but you can make the choice, I think, to, to be grounded and still keep the intellectual and emotional and you know, spiritual doors open to the rest of the world. I think that Michelle has, uh, has as I said, been a, a fantastic mother and she makes sure that those girls' lives are very stable and that they have friends around them and family that they feel safe. Um, that no one's imposing upon um, their schedules and that they have a very regular childhood. He works hard to make sure that um, they feel his love you know, forcefully and steadily in spite of his hectic schedule. He's going to be reading the final Harry Potter book to Malia one entire weekend he's promised her and he's going to make sure they see the fifth movie <laughs> together. Although he takes his commitment to the rest of the nation quite seriously, um, he would never sacrifice family normalcy and intimacy for that. I think it is interesting, you know, sort of to, to look at the patterns, how our mother started in the Midwest and ended up in Indonesia, <laughs> um, and how he uh, started in Hawaii, in essence, and and return to the Midwest. He found that the people are very warm and interesting and um, often very thoughtful. I think that uh, Bara can go anywhere. He can negotiate any crowd. And I think that our mother certainly possessed that quality. Uh, she lived in 13 different places and felt at home uh, more or less in each of those places. That ability to break down perceived boundaries or you know, cross uh, bridges is something that he got from her. And uh, his romantic idealism, he's not jaded about politics, the idea that, that politicians can really do something meaningful to improve the lives of people, that the, the process still has meaning, that the Constitution um, is a useful and beautiful and powerful thing that um, that we all need to be activists that we need to you know fight and work to uh, make things better and that uh, if we struggle enough and if we persist that we can do that.